Hey, what's up, friends? It's Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is not a vlog per se, but it's something that I want to talk to you about. This is a video dedicated to those of you that are new to tracking, and by new, I'm gonna talk to those of you that are either coming into tracking or you have been in tracking for less than a year. Now, when we all start out in tracking, maybe let me not say when we all, let me say that most of us, most of us, when we start out in tracking, we make certain mistakes. And those mistakes seem to be the same mistakes that I see almost most of us make when we start out in tracking. And I'm just going to tackle just as something to do with um, expectation there are other mistakes but i'm just going to talk about expectations when we come into tracking the expectations we have and then trying to get those expectations to line up with the reality of what is happening in the industry and i don't know maybe it's because we are men one of the expectations that we have and one of the play are the things that messes us up is to do with pay um I hear many people, uh, most of the questions are to do with pay, how much, like, uh, do we get paid? And even for those that have been in the industry for a long time, one of the things they are always, we are always looking for is better pay. And then uh, some people are always comparing with others, like, how much do you make? How much do you make? And then they're like, oh, they're cheating you down there. Like some of the comments I will see on videos are like, oh, uh, uh th that company is taking advantage of you oh you can make so much money oh you can so make so much money and so i just want to kind of give a guidance for those of you that are coming into um into tracking for those that are already experienced in other words you have more than a year of tracking you probably already know um what you want to do or with the expectations but then for the new ones i think when we come into tracking there pitfalls that we find that we fall into and one of them is when you come into tracking uh, you will hear people telling you oh they make so much money or maybe before you came into tracking they um uh, they promised you that there was a lot of money in tracking and you can make so much money in tracking and i just want to give you some guidance to help you make sure that you are not just um moving from company to company because as i said one of the mistakes that we do when we come into uh, uh, tracking at least i've seen many new drivers make this mistake is to fall for this thing where they think that a different company uh or let me say that grass is greener on the other side they'll find somebody and they will ask him oh how much money do you make and they will tell him and they will look at how much they are uh, making and then how much that driver makes and then they will think oh maybe the other company is better and so you'll see drivers move from one company to another they spend here two months another one they spend there some of uh, some some they will even just spend weeks and just move on to another company looking for the perfect company and by far perfect sometimes i know people will will switch companies just because maybe they had one bad day uh, people will switch companies maybe because uh, a different company seems to have better trucks. Maybe because another company has a better pay scale and so on. So let me just touch about the pay. One of the things you have to be careful about uh, is to make sure that when, and I've, I've spoken about this before, but I know there are uh, some of you that are new to the channel. So I just uh, want to make sure that uh, uh, I point this out to you. One of the things you have to understand that tracking, first and foremost, let's try and divide it into different parts. There are some people that are company owners, there are some that are lease operators, and there are some that are owner operators. Now, when it comes to lease operators and own operators, they're kind of the same thing. They are all independent, I would say independent contractors or something like that. At least I, I would look at them as the same group independent operator i mean lease operators and own operators and then there are company drivers in this video i'm just talking about company drivers because we are different from own operators but one thing i know is that when people come into the industry uh the, the only thing they think about is oh i want to become a truck driver 
what they don't understand that when you become a truck driver uh, pay is going to depend on what kind of truck driver you've become or what kind of freight you are moving as an example if you come to work for JB Hunt I am a local intermodal truck driver I am based out of Texas now my pay is going to be different from another um, uh, another JB Hunt driver who lives in Texas but is on a dedicated account we are going to have different pays. Why? Because we probably are doing different jobs. Now, my pay here as a local intermodal truck driver in Texas is going to be different from uh, somebody, say, in um, California, a local intermodal truck driver. We are doing the same kind of work, but we are in different locations again the pay is going to be different because the cost of living in california is different from the cost of living in um in in texas so the pay is going to be different now even in texas itself uh because maybe i am within the dallas fort worth area it's kind of like um what would i say a densely populated uh, area and maybe you have many opportunities of uh, freight within that area the pay may be different from somebody who may be living in a in a place where you don't have a lot of freight in that area so all those things are things you have to take into consideration what are you getting into as an intermodal truck driver what I do is different from somebody maybe who does um, um, a dedicated account where they are in the food uh, service area where they they go they uh, they touch the freight for me as a local intermodal driver all I do is I go to the rail hook to a container take it to the customer drop that container hook to an empty or hook to another loaded container and take it back to the rail so i'm um, generally speaking moving from the rail to the customer from the customer to the rail and i don't touch that freight if i have a live load we do have some life loads if i have a life load whether it's unloading or loading when i back that that container to the dock I go sit in my cab and I wait for them to let me know that they are done. I close the doors and I move on. That's all I do for work. I drive, I hook and drop. That's what I do. My pay is going to be different from somebody who goes uh, to maybe picks up a, a loaded container. Uh, maybe they have like 10 stops on that container. They are going to go to a customer, unload. Uh, they are going to go unload that freight, maybe do the counting of the freight, make sure the books are in order, go to another stop. At the end of the day, they've made 10 stops, but they've touched that freight. They are going to pay that uh, driver more than they pay because we are doing different kinds of work. If uh, there's a company that hires uh, truck drivers to uh, uh to haul cars for them right so the driver goes they have to load the cars onto the other uh, the truck they drive to the customer unload those cars just the process of loading the cars and unloading them is it takes time and so that particular driver is going to probably make more money than i do so one of the things that you don't want to fall for is just to hear somebody say they make more money than you do and you think oh they are their truck drivers they make more money than you do so you have to ask yourself what kind of work is involved because depending on the work involved the pay is going to be different the other thing that uh, people do not take into consideration is what kind of lifestyle, what am I giving up or what sacrifices am I making? As a local truck driver, the kind of schedule that I have and the kind of choices I have uh, decided to make are different from somebody who says, I want to go on the road and I want to make money. And so they spend maybe three weeks, four weeks without going back home to their family. They go out there, they, do, they put in the hours, they put in the days and the weeks, and then they go take off maybe like three, four days and go back on the road. Those people are making certain sacrifices and they have their reasons for making those sacrifices. So their pay 
could probably be different from my pay. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that just because somebody is over the road, they get paid more. But I'm saying the pay could be different based on the sacrifices they are making and based on the decisions they have decided to make for themselves. For example, even uh, uh, right here in Texas, right here where I, I live, I have put application in, applications in some places. I have even gone for interviews, but when I interviewed, I realized I wasn't ready. Even though there was an opportunity for me to make more money, I wasn't ready for the lifestyle that came with that opportunity. Because there are other companies out there that will pay you well, but you don't have a set schedule. You don't have the kind of schedule you you have uh, you want. You can't put in as many hours as you want. So for me, uh, for example, the schedule I am on, I work four days a week. Uh, each day is about 10 to 12 hours. And so I have three days off. The kind of money I'm going to make is different from somebody who is going to work 60, 70 hours. When you hear of people telling you they make so much money and, uh, and that company is cheating you and just don't take what those people say. You want to understand the whole story. Some people will bash companies just because they don't like them. Some people will bash companies just because they didn't, um, uh, they didn't fare well with them. Some people bash companies just because they had rumors from other people, not because they've ever worked for them or they know exactly what that company has to offer, but just because maybe somebody said, for example, one of the company I hear bashed so much is Swift. People will bash Swift and bash Swift, but yet there are other drivers out there working for Swift that are happy with what they do and the kind of money they work and the schedules they have. So be very, very careful not to fall for the uh, for, 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 for that thing of, you know, like, oh, I get paid more or oh, this company is better. Make sure you know what you want. And then based on what you want, what you are willing to give up, the sacrifices you are willing to, uh, to make, make that decision. Are you willing to put in the work? If you are willing to put in the work, then yes, go for the company where you will touch the freight or you'll do the hard work uh, like flatbed or like uh, oversize, whatever, maybe hauling fuel, uh, hauling just hazmat. I mean, there are companies out there that will pay you really good, but you've got to put in the work. Or there are companies there that will pay you very good, but you've got to put in the days and the hours and all that stuff. So know exactly what you are willing to do. Now, there are companies out there that are really good. One of, uh, for example, uh, one of, of the companies I've had an, uh, about, I've never worked for them, but I've had, you know, like many people recommend them and say, oh, you should try it out, is UPS. I did try uh, UPS out uh l like finding out how to uh, like go going to work for them and i realized i couldn't again because of my schedule i couldn't really reconcile that too right now what i have works for me and here's the key word i'm using i'm saying right now and this is the beauty of tracking and i think i've mentioned it in the videos before that the good thing with uh, tracking there's that flexibility when your situation changes you have the opportunity to change what you do for example right now as i said four days a week 10 to 12 uh, uh, hours a day are enough for me Based on the situation I'm in with the family, I get to uh, uh, to be with my kids. I get uh, like I like what I have right now. If something was to change, maybe like a year, a, a, a year into a, a year later, something was to change months later, I could be able to adjust and say, okay, now our situation has changed. And I need to change with that situation. I could be able to say, okay, now I need to put in more work or I need to put in more days or hours or I need to change location, whatever it takes. I can be able to figure out what do I need to do to make either more money or to get a, a better schedule, whatever it takes, and then try and work out the details from there. So, uh, even though UPS was a company that I had had good things about and I, uh, I wanted to get into, I realized the schedule was not what 
works for me at the moment. There are many companies out there that are good. Now, the other thing about those other good companies that you have to, to notice, one, they usually, at least the ones I've heard about, they are usually union uh, trucking companies that are very hard to get into because most of the time the people that are in there do not want to leave. Again, because they pay really well, they have some things that people don't, don't want to give up. So getting in there could be hard. That's one thing. Secondly, you could be living in, in an area where you don't have an opportunity to get into one of those companies. Third, getting into those companies, you start at the bottom. In, again, as I said, when you start at the bottom, like for example, for, for UPS, you are all over the, uh, uh, the schedule. It's like until they until you get some senior uh you become uh, like uh, you get some experience within the company and then they will consider you maybe you can pick a route i mean there are some things involved in you to get to a place where you feel like okay now this is where i want to be so those are things that some people may not tell you but things that you need to know ahead of time and so what i've realized that when people come in the um in tracking they hear of drivers telling them oh that company is bad or uh those uh, uh those guys never work for them or they hear things like oh that company doesn't pay much uh come to this company and they make the move thinking they are making a better move only to find out that they are in the same situation like they have uh, they, they were in before or they find out well things are not as good as they thought and then they will jump again if you think um now i've been in the industry for more than 10 years and i've watched one of the things that you could do to help you uh, understand what I'm talking about, go and watch some of the videos. I haven't watched uh, most of the videos, uh, tracking videos for a long time, but I know there is a time where there were some couple of uh, truck drivers that seemed to be like they, I don't want to say they know it all, but they were like on fire and they were like there was a time where tracking was like, Every truck driver is telling you, oh, this is where the money is and what have you come and do this. And they were, you know, like they were like the people giving the advice. But those truck drivers were moving from one company to another. They would stay for uh, in one company for months and then go to another, maybe stay there for a year and then move it to another. They were all, all over the place. But amazing, they were always, whatever they go, they will tell you this is where the money is. This is where the money is. But they kept on jumping from one trucking company to another. Why? Again, because sometimes we think the grass is greener on the other side. We don't sit down to evaluate the whole picture. Uh, what kind of benefits am I getting? Uh, what's the advantage of me staying with the company for a longer time? So my advice to you, please is don't be in a hurry to move. Take your time, figure out what you personally want out of tracking. Are you looking to make more money? Do you have a family you want to be home? Is there a certain kind of money you're saying, if I could make this, I could be able to hang out? What are you looking for in a company? Are you looking for good uh, trucks? What is it you're looking for? And then based on what you want, then make a decision to find the trucking company and when you find that trucking company give them an opportunity stay with them for some time and see how they are before you just move on from company to a company what that is going to do is going to look bad on your resume so i hope that really gives you some insight or something to think about that could be able to help you out. Again, if you need any uh, help, just reach out to me, Moses at driversuccess.com, and I'll do my, uh, my best to help you out. If you guys are interested in working for JB Hunt, send me an email, Moses at driversuccess.com, or call Susan and let her know that I referred you. She'll be able to tell you exactly what uh, a job opportunities are in your area, and then she'll be able to hook you up. Now, I know some of you uh, ask me that, um, should I go to the website first? No, uh, the best thing to do is send me an email or call Susan and let her know that I referred you. Uh, that's the best thing I can, uh, the best way to go forward in applying. So hopefully that helps you out as you start on this journey to make the right decisions. I really, 
um, uh, I, I would prefer that you don't do a lot of job hopping, that you'll settle down, at least find a company that you think will work for you, settle down, and then as you settle down, maybe be with them for some time, maybe for a year or more, as you figure out if it's the right company for you or you want to make other moves, and then go ahead and make those moves. But don't fall for this thing of thinking that the grass is green on the other side ask the questions and find out exactly what you need before you go on jumping from one place to another it will save you a lot i promise you all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye